Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazarov Chess Channel and welcome to our Garika Kasparov saga. So in this series we're following Garika Kasparov's life and his chess career from the year 1981 till 2000 and uh, this 1981 as I mentioned also in my previous videos is basically the cornerstone of Garika Kasparov's career because uh, Garika Kasparov won the USSR chess championship in that year and he became now really respectful uh respectful grandmaster everyone is was afraid a little bit to play afterwards against uh, Garika Kasparov and today we're analyzing another game uh from that tournament uh, in which Gary faced Leonid Yudasin with the black pieces Leonid Yudasin also an interesting uh grandmaster in chess history he became grandmaster in 1990 uh but uh, the most important fact about him is that he particip participated twice in the candidates tournament uh, also uh he was the eighth ranked uh, chess player uh, in one particular moment in chess history it's really a short one uh, it's really a short game because uh, here um, Gary Kasparov pulled off a great great uh, miniature in the knight of defense and uh, at least uh, it's good one because uh, I don't have so much time because my wife of course called me she told me that I have to go home so we have really only time for one short video and this is a perfect perfect game here by Gary Kasparov in order to help me out also that I don't have troubles with my wife at home so uh, let's check out now the game we have e4 by Yudasin uh, c5 knight to f3 d6 d4 c takes d knight takes d knight to f6 knight to c3 and now a6 the knight of so the idea is of course clear b5 will happen uh ca queenside castling kingside castling will happen this opposite side attack game which is the most aggressive of lines of the knight of in the game bishop to g5 was played by Yudasin. the idea is a positional idea uh the main goal here is to take bishop takes f6 then to weaken the pawn structure in front of black's king uh, that's why uh, kasparov plays e6 uh, if bishop takes f6 happens now then queen to f6 could be a possibility here f4 uh, very aggressive line by Yudasin, and we have now queen to c7 this queen to c7 at least uh, prevents this e5 move for a while in the game Yudasin tries again this positional idea bishop takes f6 after g takes f6 we have now a new position in which of course black has the bishop pair uh this bishop pair so far is not good uh because uh, the bishop on c8 is blocked out by its own pawn if you try bishop to g7 uh then uh, this bishop is blocked out again by its own pawn so in order to make something happen you have to activate uh the pieces you have to activate the bishop somehow but there is also one problem for black if you play something like d5 let's just imagine this position in long term after d5 you always risk e takes d5 and then uh after potential e takes d5 even if you can protect this pawn still the weakened pawn structure is simply too much to handle i think this uh, f6 and f7 pawns are bad if you try f5 some or something then you see after e takes f5 and the d takes f5 again knight to d5 is a positional idea d uh, e5 here again the same position the d5 square is again a weakness so the problem for black in this positions is that you cannot push the pawns in the center this has to be prepared you have to play a patient game here in order to make something happen in the game bishop to e2 play by Yudasin. we have knight to c6 we have knight to b3 the idea is of course to release the pressure a little bit in the center we don't want to uh, have this knight hanging sort of on d4 we want to play much more actively with our queen getting the queen maybe to f3 uh, maybe to g4 so that's why knight to uh, b3 uh, so far a good idea by Yudasin. the problem about this knight setup knight to b3 and knight to c3 is that this knight can be vulnerable to your opponent's pawn attack so b4 uh, could happen a5 a4 so black can get some tempos uh, against this knight uh, in this opposite side attack game as i said black will probably castle on the king side white will probably castle on the queen side so it's all about tempo so this knight although as a good is a good defensive strategy but it could be as i said also vulnerable to your opponent's attack so b5 immediately by uh, kasparov we have bishop to h5 bishop to g7 and now queen to g4 a very very tricky move here by Yudasin forcing basically Gary Kasparov to castle if you try something like rook to g8 then you weaken maybe here the h7 pawn uh, so that's why 
Curry castles. Uh, the problem is for white that black doesn't have dark square problems. Uh, you would love now to have, of course, the dark square bishop and compete somehow. So, so far, this bishop plays a very important defensive role here in black setup. Uh, in the game, queenside castle played by Yudasin, and we have now knight to e7. So, this is really, really a great move by Kasparov. I wanted to point you again out what happens if you play something like e5. If you want to break the position in the center and crack it uh, with the pawn breakthrough, it's not possible because then you face f5. The same thing happens uh, here in this position if you play d5. So you see, it's not possible. After d5, e takes d5. E takes d5. Although, maybe this attack comes uh, with a directed attack against the queen. But I think f5 is solving the positional problems and you see now this bishop is locked here uh, that's the main problem the bone structure is weakened so that's why here after the move uh, queenside castling gary kasparov finds really a great great move it's knight to e7 this is really one of these moves that really the best grandmasters only can see because now gary kasparov is preparing the f5 after e takes f5 then knight to f5 will happen then this knight will come on a very very active square and then we would have possibilities maybe to break the position with the move e5 so that's what i said you have to play a patient game you cannot just rush into pawn breakthroughs although you have sort of a pawn majority uh, three versus two situation on the in the center but still it has to be prepared so that's why knight to e7 great move by gary knight to d4 here you does in sense that uh, here this f5 could come so that's why he wants to also capture with the knight he wants to support this uh, idea here kasparov plays b4 and we have now knight to e2 uh what you uh, in maybe in this uh, position could have played is maybe the rook to e1 but you see now this f5 move is simply too much to handle i believe it liberates really this diagonals for the bishop here after e takes f5 knight to f5 that's what i meant now uh, again this pawn structure is really healthy. This bishop is very, very dangerous. Again, we have e5 possibilities with discovered attacks against the queen. So that's why here Yudasin tried to move knight to d4. But you can guess what Gary played. He played the move f uh, b4 and after knight to e2, f5 anyway. So here, after e takes f5. Now, it's not the point that we want uh, to take with the knight or with the pawn. Then again, we have a weird pawn structure if you try something like e takes uh, f5 then queen to g3 still this is a bad uh bad setup here the, these are several targets here also this d6 pawn is a long-term weakness here gary kasparov after the move uh, e takes f5 finds e5 so now he gets his pawns rolling uh, in the game uh, we have uh, f takes e5 we have d takes e5 and here yudasin tried uh, the move queen to uh, queen to g4 the idea is of course to play f6 f6 is not possible immediately so that's why queen to g5 uh, that's why h6 played by kasparov uh, here uh, queen to g3 and now uh, knight to f5 you cannot take of course uh, e takes d4 because your queen is hanging on on uh, on c7 so that's why uh, here after the move queen to g3 knight to f5 we have knight takes f5 but now bishop to f5 you see how uh, Gary Kasparov managed to activate the bishop pair. Great, great performance. And uh, now this is really a great possibility because we have now opportunities to open the dark square diagonal. In the game, uh, Yudasin tried rook to d2 because the uh, the c2 pawn is hanging. Uh, here, Gary tries rook to c8, queen to b3, and now very important move e4. The idea behind this move is to deflect the queen with the move e3, then the queen is deflected and then we would have a bishop to c2 ideas in the game, that's why king to b1. Let's see a possible continuation, if you try for instance knight to d4 to lock the dark squares, then you get e3, you have to take with the queen, um, uh, that's why here bishop takes d4. You cannot take with the rook as you get checkmated on c2, uh, so that's why queen to d4 would be a forced line, but now after bishop to c2, there is this discovered attack to handle after bishop to h7 uh, here. Even some checkmate threats are possible. So that's why in this position, uh, after the move uh, e4, um, uh, king to b1 was played. But now bishop to e6, you see how uh, Gary Kasparov activates his bishop pair, uh, queen to uh, g3, and after queen to f5, Leonid Yudasin resigned, which because uh, there's nothing you much uh, that you can do a3 b takes a3 rook to b8 opens the b file if you try here b3 then you get uh, queen to a3 
you're going to be checkmated. So great, great position here by uh, by Gary Kasparov. As I said, in move 25, uh, 24, Leonid Yudasin resigned. So, okay, I hope that you enjoyed this game. This could be a really instructive game for neither Sicilian defense players. It was really a great uh, counter-attack performance by uh, Gary Kasparov with his f5 pawn breakthrough just in order to liberate the bishop here that's how you play with the bishops uh, of course Gary Kasparov one of the best attackers in chess history knows how, how to activate his pieces that's why he's really one of the best chess players in chess history okay I hope that you enjoyed this game I really enjoyed it a lot uh, meanwhile you can watch my other videos from this Gary Kasparov series here's the link and you can also watch my best chess games of all time if you want to see the best chess games that have been ever played in chess history and you can also subscribe to my channel if you like this content see you soon with some more videos and uh, chess is the best of course